Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Thursdays with Gwen. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I've chatted with everyone and I just wanted to uh, say hi and, and talk about a few things with you today. Um, here on my living room floor again, there is my kitty making her uh, appearance like usual. Uh, today I have my Christmas tree on as you can see. Oh, there she goes again. And uh, I just wanted to um, talk to you guys a little bit about um, something that may feel a little f similar to another topic that we talked about. I know we uh, talked about God being uh, the God of all comfort, but today I want to talk about um, God is peace. Uh, I think it's uh, pretty uh, relevant for the time that we're going through, especially especially at this particular time. I feel like uh, there's a lot of anxiety in the world at this time. Um, there has been for several weeks, but I just feel like it's mounting. I think people are having um, kind of quarantine overload. Uh, they're they're just tired of coronavirus and they're getting a little anxious and a little uh, uneasy. So I wanted to talk about how God is peace. Um, if you were to Google, I did this earlier, uh, just the word, two words, chaos today, um, came up with 315 million results in less than a second. Um, if you wrote the words um, anxiety today, uh, it came up with 403 million results. Um, a lot of them are news stories, just things going on around the world right now. Um, I know that we're all uh, still facing um, COVID-19. We're still, we're not out of the woods. You know, there's, there's still cases every day in Alberta. Uh, praise God that they are going down a little bit. So that's a, one amazing praise report. But we're still, it's still con a concern that we're uh, dealing with. Um, I know that uh, a lot of us could be struggling with, um, you know, personal finances, loss of job, you know, just wondering uh, how we're going to make ends meet. Even the economy as a whole in Canada and Alberta, you know, things are pretty uh, much on the edge, especially in the oil and gas sector. So that, that causes a lot of stress and anxiety. Um, another thing going on in the world is a lot of protests and rallies. Um, people are frustrated. People are, uh, like I said, they're just kind of up to here with uh, self-isolation. And they, uh, some people are protesting. They, they want their freedoms back. Um, and other people are saying, you know, hey, it's not it's not time. We're not ready, uh, you know, to, to really just, uh, go back to normal life. So there's so much going on in the world and, um, there's some global tensions. I know that there's uh, been a few, um, world leaders trying to place blame about coronavirus and other things. And, you know, that's got people tense and on top of it all, I mean, there's murder hornets. <laughs> And I know it's, you know, to me, it's somewhat hilarious because, you know, I saw one of my friends post, you know, we were wondering what uh, Jumanji level five would be. <laughs> Shout out to Teresa. Um, but, you know, uh, one thing is murder hornets, apparently they're not quite as uh, scary or dangerous or even going to be prevalent in Alberta. So, <laughs> And then you top it off with just all of our regular anxieties that we we had before, you know, just life, just, um, you know, health reports and worrying about our kids or our families. And, you know, there's a lot uh, to deal with. But God is Jehovah Shalom, which translates to the Lord is peace. So I just wanted to talk about how God can bring peace to any situation because he is peace. Um, I wanted to read a couple of verses for you. So starting in Isaiah chapter 9, uh, verses 6 and 7, it's uh, a declaration about Jesus and the coming of Jesus, a prophecy. It says, for unto us a child is born. We read this at Christmas. Uh, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. It's a wonderful promise about uh, who Jesus was and is to us. He is the Prince of Peace, and we can rest uh, in that peace. Uh, the next couple verses are from 
Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 to 8 says, uh, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, worthy, think about such things. And I like, I really like that verse, those verses, because it uh, not only tells you, hey, um, you know, don't be anxious, but trust in, trust in God and rest in his peace. But then it gives you a couple of little hints about, hey, why don't you think about all these good things? You know, whatever is excellent, whatever is praiseworthy, uh, whatever is good, think on those things. And it's kind of like God's giving just a little bit extra clues or hints about how to uh, be in his peace. And the le- the next set of verses that I wanted to share is from Colossians 3, uh, 15 to 17 says, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you are called to peace, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom, as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs of gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. And again, it's it's kind of a, another, um, you know, instruction, but then a little extra saying, you know, s- admonish one another, sing songs, sing hymns, and, and praise the Lord. And I, in that, you will find your peace. If you think about, like, all the things that could trouble you, of course, it's going to overwhelm you. But if you dwell on the Lord, if you think on God and, and all the good things that he's done, I, I believe that you will find peace. Um, I'm going to share a few songs with you. Um, you'll see the link above the video. Um, the first song is called uh, None But Jesus. Um, it goes, uh, there is no one else for me, none but Jesus. Crucified to set me free. Now I live to bring him praise. And uh, in the verses, it kind of talks about um, in the, the quiet places, in the stillness, you'll find God. But also in the chaos and in the confusion, um, God is there and he will bring you peace. Um, the second song is um, called Peace. It's a kind of a newish song by uh, Hillsong Young and Free. I don't know it really well enough to, <laughs> to sing uh, any of it for you, but it, it'll be in the, the playlist. It's really beautiful. This, the words are just uh, phenomenal. talks about um, how, you know, anxiety, don't forget that uh, Jesus is peace, and uh, where Jesus is, anxiety cannot remain. And the last song is... Um, his Eyes on the Sparrow. It's an old hymn, but somewhere in the 90s uh, was redone by Lauren Hill. It's just, just got a gorgeous voice, and uh, the song goes a little bit like, um, Why should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows come? Why should my heart feel lonely? And long for heaven and home. When Jesus is my portion. Anyways, Lord Hill sings at White Banner. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I just wanted to uh, encourage everyone to, <laughs> my cat is just going bananas. Um, encourage you that um, God just wants to pour his peace on you. Uh, don't focus on the anxieties and the stresses of life. I know it's easier said than done, and trust me, I'm, I'm guilty of it too, but God does give us that instruction. If if you focus on the good things, if you dwell on the Lord, spend time in his presence, uh, it'll be a lot easier to find his peace. Uh, praying blessings on you this week, and we'll see you on Sunday. Bye, guys.